Cardano continues to attack scalability in the year 2022 as ADA, and the rest of crypto right now making a short move to the upside. Will it continue? What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Thank you for coming by today. Definitely going to talk about these Cardano charts. We're going to zoom out. We're going to zoom in on this six hour right here. For instance, we see a very interesting move right here at this upper trend line area. We want to talk about it. Talk about downside as well. Before I do, I want to go over here. This is an infographic on IOHK.io talking about scalability. And I think fundamentally to cardano and if you're really interested in the price of ada and what it's doing and upside in the long term in the macro view of things it's important to understand what's kind of going on behind the technology itself we've seen we've seen over and over through these stages of cardano going back staking mechanism right i'm sure there are a lot of people doubters out there saying staking is not going to work with cardano and then all of a sudden testnet came along boom mainnet came along success and cardano has the most thriving staking mechanism and staking community in cryptocurrency and then on top of that came smart contracts most recently everyone saying smart contracts are not going to happen in cardano not everyone saying that a lot of people saying it and then guess what it happened and then people said well developers can't even use it developers can't interact with it and slowly that's happening more and more and we're seeing so many projects building with smart contracts and now we're going on to, because that has been proven wrong, doubters have been proven wrong, we're going into this kind of phase of scalability. Cardano is too slow, it can't scale, all of these things, it's not going to work. And this is what I like about Cardano. It's research science backed, and it keeps proving the doubters wrong because the, the growth of the technology is based and formed out of a lot, a lot of planning and thought. So... If we look at this and we just focus now on this next phase, I think that the phase of scalability, if successful, and I think it will be, I think it's going to draw a lot of very positive momentum and attention to Cardano, including a lot of institutional interest. Uh, 11 ways Cardano will scale in 2022, block size increase, pipelining, input endorsers, memory, Plutus script enhancements, node enhancements on, on disk storage off-chain solutions like side chains hydra off-chain computing mithril this is everything that is in the works right now for this year remember uh charles hoskins in an interview i did with him last month talking about a lot of these things go check it out put a link in the description if you missed it the path to a billion users cardano uh on that path Charles talking a lot about all of those things in, in regards to scalability in that video, including three hard fork combinator events for this year on this zoomed out monthly. And we can pivot. This can be the segue to the charts. Now, if we look at these three lines that I have charted February, June and, and October for these hard fork combinator events, uh, we are in February right now. And uh, it's going to be interesting as as Cardano does scale to see what happens with charts. There's no guarantee, everyone. There's not. And as I dig into these charts, this is data. This is what I'm tracking. This is what I'm thinking. This is my opinion. This is not financial advice. But let's do it. On the monthly chart, I haven't covered the monthly a lot. I don't bring it up a lot, but come on. This is a picture of crypto in general. This is this is the very simplest graph that that paints the story of crypto and the opportunity that it presents to us as these early stage investors. And I think we are early stage. And this is what I'm looking looking at. We were at all time high area. Cardano was all time high. Crypto markets were going crazy. And then now we've had a huge retracement back to levels that we've seen in October 2020 on the slower moving momentum oscillator, the RSI. At that time, Cardano around 10 cents when it revisited this area on the Cardano charts, on the RSI, Momentum Oscillator, 10 cents. Well, now we've retraced all the way back to a similar area. We're oversold on Cardano and Cardano's at a dollar and 10 cents. That is, I mean, that is almost all the information you need if you're a macro investor uh, and seeing what Cardano's building and, and this, this is just getting started. Um, a lot of times we see people buying in this environment, overbought environments, the fear of missing out kicks in and we don't see them buying here because there's too much fear. There's too much uncertainty. There's too much doubt. But 
it's the opposite, everyone. And and again, this isn't financial advice, but I'm just telling you, historically, this is how crypto presents opportunity. And it's just the people that are willing to just dive into the fear are the people long term that seem to be winning consistently in crypto. So that's the monthly. I really wanted to, to do a nice little picture of that. Going over to the weekly, I think it's also important to look at the moment, momentum oscillator here. There is a consolidation phase happening here on the slower moving momentum oscillator, similar to what happened back here, August to December of 2019, before getting a move to the upside on that RSI. Want to just point something out because we're going to talk about the potential for a dip on the shorter term charts. And this red line historically, like this was the COVID swing low back there. Um, this was the bear market low. I think this red line down here around 35 on the RSI on the weekly is a good area to say, hey, Cardano can consolidate on the weekly chart to that area. You might be thinking that's not too big of a dip. But in terms of this, again, slower moving momentum oscillator on the weekly, this really could equal like this could e equal 25 plus percent dip for Cardano if it does retrace that area. You want to be careful. You want to keep that in mind as we're looking at the weekly chart. Um, but it is looking like there could be a momentum shift. Even looking at the, the quicker moving momentum oscillator, the stock RSI here, you can see Cardano kind of oversold here, coming back up and potentially putting in a higher low on this chart before maybe continued upside. Similar thing happened back here, August, September, 2020. Boom, higher low, and then and then lift off going into December 2020. Now, if we start digging in though and start seeing, all right, what's possible for Cardano? What's what's the next move for Cardano? Here's where we are, and we continue to track this. We we continue to analyze the bullish divergence here on the RSI. We've been tracking that yellow line down here, higher lows on this RSI. Cardano potentially escaping on this daily chart that trend line. That's something to take note of. Is it, a, is it a definite bullish confirmation? It's one. It's one bullish confirmation that we can keep an eye on. We want more separation from that. Uh, and then this, and then we have the MACD. We have a MACD cross that just took place. You see Cardano, the histogram on the MACD turning green above zero. That is a big move. So this is a potential other bullish confirmation for Cardano, but we want to be careful and it all kind of it all kind of converges to this very pivotal short term chart. And this is what it's looking like. It's a symmetrical triangle of consolidation that we've been talking about. We got that drop kind of the, the last week or week and a half of January and into January 22nd fell into the consolidation that it's been in. We've been tracking this symmetrical triangles based on those wicks. And here Cardano is just grappling and testing the upper trend line right now. This is where you want to be careful. Uh, we'll talk about upside in a second, but this is where you want to be careful because this could be resistance as I do the video. It's something to watch going into this weekend. It will be exciting to watch, but Cardano could very well come right back down lower dollar range and then we're testing the lower trend line just as easily especially as we're in the apex now just as easily as we're testing the upper trend line we could be testing the lower trend line breakout target to downside around 80 to 85 cents uh, and remember there is a longer term breakout target in blue to around 80 cents right so 80 cent target there 85 cent targets uh to that symmetrical triangle that we just looked at the downside is there the potential for downside is there price range wise from where cardano is right now we're looking at look at that around a 25 percent dip to the downside remember we just talked about this on the weekly chart on this rsi the slower moving momentum oscillator we said hey if cardano does test this red line around 35 here on the RSI, that could be a 25% dip. That could be the case for downside. Wanted to throw it out there so we can all be prepared. The case for upside, it's a new six hour candle just opened like 22 minutes ago. Cardano starts kind of maybe, maybe trickling along the upper trend line, but we get finally a breakout of separation above the trend line. And then we're looking like with all of the, all of the confluent bullish confirmations on that daily chart that we just saw. And even on the weekly, uh, we could get another confirmation here on the six hour chart. So that's something I'm watching as well. So we have our downside targets. We have our upside targets, our upside targets in that dollar thirty five to dollar forty range. The reason why that's important, you go over here to the daily chart that will get Cardano back above. And this is the true this is the true bullishness that we're looking for. It will get Cardano back above 
the 20 day moving average at $1.15, the 50 day moving average at $1.24, this lower trend line around $1.27, it will get Cardano back above all those areas. If Cardano can hit that $1.35 to $1.40 target, um, still, it would be a lower high on this longer term downtrend of lower high. So Cardano would still have a lot of work to do, but at least we'd be above these, these resistance areas and Cardano could potentially start testing them as supports before making the move to the upside. This could lead us into maybe a, a March breakout on the macro that we're looking for, but it's taking time, obviously, but all the while Cardano is building, Cardano is solving a lot of issues. It's scaling. In my view, it is succeeding. So let's track it. Let's see what happens. I appreciate you guys coming by. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.